Hello and welcome back. This is my January empties video. I am pretty excited. I have a good amount of empties here and I used up $142 worth of items. I think I did forget two skincare items to count in here. Well, I counted the value, but I forgot to save them. I think I already got rid of them, but that's okay. So this is makeup and skincare and let's get into it. up is this elf hydrating water essence i basically just use this as a toner this is five fluid ounces and this is ten dollars so a little expensive for elf but i really liked it and it's a good toner for dry skin um i would repurchase it but i got something else next is a makeup item this is the revolution concealer i did take the stopper out it looks like there's stuff in there but there's not i really like this um, I did mention in my Project Pan video that I did run out of this quickly, and you guys told me that they do sell a bigger size, um, but I already have a backup of the small size, and I have Tarte Shape Tape, so I won't be buying that for a while, but I really, really like this concealer. Okay, another skincare item. This is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield Vitamin C Serum, and this is $16, so this is getting up there in price for e.l.f., but it is a vitamin C serum, and it is in opaque packaging, which is essential for a vitamin C serum because they do oxidize. I actually think this works. Um, I've been skeptical about vitamin C serums in the past. A lot of them don't do anything, probably because they're oxidized, but I actually think this works, and I have another bottle. I really like it. Next up, I finished a body lotion. This is the Origins Whipped Body Cream. This is the Ginger, and I love this scent. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I love the scent of ginger. If you love ginger, you would love this. They sell this in a perfume too. Basically, this is a really good body lotion, super absorbent, very moisturizing, but not sticky, but this is $37. I was apparently feeling super fancy, when I bought this at Ulta last year, I don't normally spend that much on a body lotion and I just repurchased a super cheap one from Target, but this is very good, but only if you like intense ginger scents. All right, this mask is a spoiler for my Grey's Anatomy Project pan. I'm finally, finally done with this. This is the Formula 10.0.6 Pores Be Pure Mud Mask. And I would call this okay. I'm not sure it did a whole lot. I don't think I would get this again. It wasn't bad, it was a little bit smoothing, kind of helped the pores, but eh. Two more masks, which is very exciting. I did a lot of masking in January. I finished the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moor Mud and the Blue Marine Algae Hydrating Mask. This came, they have a kit with these small ones. They are each, how much? 0.47 fluid ounces, so I mean, I probably got five or six uses out of each of these, so it's actually pretty decent. Um, these are both good. This is not that moisturizing. This clears out your pores, though. That 10.0.6, eh, compared to this, but this clears out your pores if you are into that. Um, but I don't think I would repurchase them. I've had a full size of this before, and I do like it, but... There's gotta be cheaper pore masks, but I don't even know that I need a pore mask as long as I exfoliate properly, so I'm not sure, but these are good. Okay, one more skincare, and then the last two are makeup items. This is the Josie Marin Argon Oil. This was a 100 point perk from Sephora, and this is 0.15 fluid ounces. That's a decent amount. Um, you know, it has the little dropper. I love Argon Oil, but I don't think this is any better than the Shea Moisture Argon Oil or the Physician's Formula Argon Oil. All of those are pure argon oil. There's nothing else in them. So do I really need to pay more for this one? I don't think so. Um, I think the others are just as good. Alrighty, if you saw my Finish 7 by Spring, you already saw these two makeup empties here. The ColourPop No Filter Pressed Powder, um, all gone. I really like this, but now I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. Yeah, it's better. This is a bit too drying. And I think because I have combination skin, this worked way better for me in the summer. But now that I'm more dry, mm, it was a little kind of cakey looking, so I'm not sure. This is $9. I'm not sure that I would repurchase it 
just because I have to get it online and face powder is one of those things that, I don't know, it's a little bit more convenient to just pick it up in the store, but I do think it's good, but it's better for oily skin. Last up, another ColourPop empty. This is the Fairy Floss Gloss. Um, I scraped it all out, but I did not, oh, that was gloopy. I didn't take the stopper out because I've done that before with glosses and it was a disaster and I regretted it. So no thank you, but this is $6. This was my second one. It's just a nude shade. I mean, it's really nothing amazing, but I really like their formula. It's not sticky. It's pigmented enough, but it's not too pigmented. I'm not sure. I think it's good, but I do like the Curve 2 one better and Moonchild better as far as colors go, but I really like their formula. Alrighty, that is my January empties. I finished a good amount of stuff. I kind of wish I'd finished a little bit more makeup, but that's okay. I did pretty well. And yeah, thanks for watching.